Hey there, Mark Satterfield here. Thanks for joining me. I want to talk today about building trust because that, of course, is the key to any kind of successful sales situation and particularly so when we are marketing and selling to the wealthy and affluent. And uh, today I want to actually recommend you a, a book. Uh, it's a book by uh, Harry Beckwith and it's called Selling the Invisible. It came out, I don't know, maybe 20, 25 five years ago, but it's a considered a classic in uh, selling to uh, high-end service providers or, or selling services for high-end uh, providers. So that would be luxury real estate, financial advisors, management consultants, uh, concierge docs, you name it. But uh, Beckworth goes into really nine criteria that People ask themselves, prospective class, uh, clients ask themselves as they're going through the process of should I trust you? So real quickly, I'm going to go through these. Um, I'm going to put a link in the... Uh, uh, in, the, in the section that's below this video to, uh, to the book so you can check it out for yourself. But uh, number one is uh, the question they ask is, is this guy for real? Uh, and that, of course, goes to authenticity. You know, is this somebody that is actually you know, a, you know, a real person or am I just seeing a bunch, of, uh, a, a bunch of an act? Number two, is he telling me the truth? And that goes, of course, to uh, believability. Uh, number three, is he knowledgeable and competent? Obviously goes to uh, credibility, and uh, the more that you have a depth and wealth of understanding about your product or service, which of course you do, and then you're able to communicate that, uh, maybe through uh, case studies and examples where people have uh, used your advice to, uh, uh, to achieve a particular goal or overcome a particular problem, that goes to uh, that, goes to that issue. Um, is he appropriate for me? Uh, this goes to the uh, what he, uh, Beckworth calls the feasibility of the relationship because quite frankly not everybody is right for everybody I mean look there's a lot of very good marketing consultants out there and you know I'm not everyone's cup of proverbial jasmine tea I'll be the first to admit it uh, some people like you know the rich jerk so you know there you go. Uh, <laughs> number five is, is he listening or is he just peddling? And again, this goes to customize solutions. So the more that you have a one go, all go, this is how we do it approach, uh, that flies in the face of does he really care about me? Uh, I work some in the uh, personal training space and there's a huge difference between personal trainers that have their system, which you have to, uh, which you have to uh, participate in, versus those that really look at you, look at your goals, look at your limitations, and design a fitness plan that is specifically designed for you. Sounds commonsensical, doesn't it? But you would not believe how many personal trainers have their system, and they think it's part of their branding. But in fact, what it does is it, it is the exact opposite. It just goes to I'm just trying to sell you something. Um, let's see, what was else on the list? There was a bunch of good stuff. Oh, uh, number six, uh, overall, can he be relied on? Uh, this goes to, to safety, which is huge in terms of building trust. Uh, can I trust him that he is actually going to do what he says uh, he's going to do? Back in the day when we used to implement uh, done for you marketing systems. One of the things that people used to tell us was that uh, they really liked us because we actually did what we said we were going to do. We actually designed the websites. We actually created uh, the uh, email sequence. We actually did everything we were supposed to do. And surprise, and this actually came as a surprise to me, lots of people didn't do that. Uh, number seven uh, is do I understand enough about what he's going to do for me to feel comfortable? And this again again, goes to, and we've talked about this before, really mapping out what the steps are in your solution and walking people through what specifically those steps are so that they have a greater level of understanding about what's going to take place. The greater the level of understanding, the greater the level of comfort, and the greater the level of trust. Uh, am I making the best choice versus other choices? We don't make choices in a vacuum. We make choices based on uh, how this particular provider is compared to others. So we always, 
we need to be aware of and thinking about what is our competition doing? How are they positioning their services? Which is the reason why you want to subscribe to everybody else's stuff who's in your space. Because not only will you pick up some good ideas that you can use as a mosaic piece in your own marketing and sales efforts, but you're also aware of how they're positioning themselves. And then finally, and this was the only one that had to do with, uh, with money, is am I paying a fair price? And that, of course, goes to, goes to value. And again, we're talking about a fair price, not the cheapest price, because if you address all these other issues and you're able then to build trust and credibility along all of those eight uh, items, then price becomes kind of a non-issue. I mean, does it become a complete non-issue? Of course not. But you know, being able to charge a reasonable price for what you do and on the upper level of that reasonable price comes as a direct result of these other things. So again, that's Selling, uh, Selling the Invisible by Harry, um, Harry Beckwith. Uh, I'll put a link in the uh, uh, in the page that's right below this video. Highly recommend the book to you. It's, uh, it's a real good resource for any of us who are selling, uh, selling intangibles. So, hope you found this helpful. I'll be back at you with something uh, new in the near future. And please, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button so you'll uh, get notified when new stuff comes out. And if you know of other people who are trying to sell to those that have wealthy, uh, have money, as opposed to trying to sell to poor people. Hey, pass this along to them. It's uh, good for them. It's good karma for you. And yeah, hey, it's, a, it's good for me. So again, thanks for, uh, thanks for your attention. And I will talk to you soon. This is Mark Satterfield. Bye for now.